Your Honor, the DA's ridiculous charge is further evidence of the vendetta her office has against my client. Ms. Hannon, I am turning down your request for a mistrial, and Mr. Manning does have the right to choose his own counsel. Then I request that the jury be sequestered until a verdict is rendered. Agreed. Call your first witness. Thank you, Your Honor. A people call Detective Antonio Vega. Detective Vega, can you describe the events that transpired while you were on duty on the night of November 14th? Sure. My partner and I were dispatched to 437 Jackson Hill Road under the suspicion that uh, Mr. Manning here was holding a woman prisoner, Dr. Marty Saybrook. And is that what you found? Yeah. Yeah, it was, uh, it was clear that Marty Saybrook was traumatized and that uh, Manning here was under the need of medical care. So we arrested Manning and then uh, arranged it so that the both of them were transported to Landview Hospital. I stuck around to conduct a search. Oh, a search. Oh. And uh, is this the list of items that you found during your search? Yeah, that's my signature. All right. Your Honor, this has already been entered into evidence as People's Exhibit 1. Could you please read the list for us, Detective? Sure. Thank you. Four boxes of baby clothes, two boxes of diapers, one case baby formula, one boxed crib, one unopened car seat, one map of New Mexico. Okay, okay, hold on a second. To your knowledge, Detective, does Mr. Manning have any children in his custody? No. Huh. No further questions. Thank you. Your witness. Thank you. Detective Vega, was Star Manning's name on any of these items? No. Oh. Was there any shred of evidence to indicate that these items were intended for Star Manning's baby? Well, kidnappers don't usually, you know, uh, tip off their target. Your Honor. Please answer as directed, Detective. Well, who else would the clothes be for? I'm so glad you asked. Your Honor, Exhibit A. My client's latest income tax return, in which he enumerates the thousands of dollars worth of items that he has already donated this year, in addition to Exhibit B, a letter in which he stipulates that these items are to be given to an orphanage. And uh, was, your, uh, was your client's signature on there before or after he got arrested? That doesn't matter to the orphans. Your Honor, the people call Star Manning to the stand. Thank you so much for coming here today. I know this is very difficult, but I'll try to get through this as quickly, as painlessly as possible. Oh, I need to get out of here! You have police protection. Nothing will happen to you. Star, did you visit your father in the hospital after his arrest last November? Yes, eventually. Mm -hmm. Why did you go to see him? Look, I need to speak with the DA. It's a matter of life and death. Star? in court. You're just gonna have to sit tight. Are you alright? You know, this is just a thought harder than I thought it was going to be. Well, of course it is. But you do understand why you're here, don't you? I mean, you understand that your father is on trial for plotting to kidnap your child, right? Yes. Okay, well, just, just keep that in mind when you answer. Look, this is why I didn't want to get involved with this in the first place. I went into hiding because there were people out there who wanted me dead. I took their life savings. I took everything they had. And now because of you all, I'm exposed. When you visited your father, what did you talk about? I asked him to tell me the truth. The truth? Okay. About what? Whether or not he was planning to kidnap my baby. The DA's office will take care of you. Nothing will happen. You should eat something. Are you hungry? 
I can't take that chance. And what did Todd respond when you asked him that? Star, did your father tell you that he intended to kidnap your child? One life to live. Uh, I don't think Natalie's going to be too happy to see me. Don't worry, we're not going to kill each other. We're sisters. Did your father tell you that he planned to kidnap your child? 